Why use EFT tapping in the first place? I want to give you an example, at least one example, of how you can apply this to a situation related to work. And this is a very common kind of a situation, but it's one that came up recently with a client of mine, so protecting her confidentiality, I'll just speak in some general terms about what she presented to me. She said to me, I, uh, I work in a winery, I work in the wine industry in an administrative position of, of some high level, and uh, the owner or, or you know person above her is a very difficult person very emotional, very back and forth, very difficult to gauge, difficult to deal with on many levels. And the comment that this person made was, I always end up in toxic work environments. It's a pattern. This job, the last job, many of them end up with the same kind of toxic pattern and they all involve the same type of relationship with, uh, with women. So what do we do with that? The, the down and dirty uh, direct way to work with that is to have her visualize this difficult person that she sees every day that's hard to deal with and it triggers her and brings up all kinds of difficult emotions. And as you're visualizing and, and describing in words a situation or even just the image of this boss tapping the points, becoming more and more relaxed, less and less triggered as you're tapping through the points until you feel calm and that's when you know you've done something you've you've released something usually that translates to when you go into work the next day and lo and behold you you feel calm around around this person you don't feel plugged in by them you don't feel triggered by them and that's your evidence that you did something inside yourself to shift the energy the emotion so that this person doesn't have that power, that negative power over you. Now what's important to understand is that for many people in these kind of situations, the, some a little bit deeper work is required in order to overhaul things so that you don't get in this pattern anymore. So when somebody says, I've been in this pattern over and over and I keep encountering the same kind of people, ask yourself, Who's the first person in your life that felt that way to you? Who's the first person in your life that you remember treating you that way, that you had difficulty with? Oftentimes it's, your, it's one of your parents. It could be a sibling. It could be your nemesis, the bully at school that picked on you. But it's usually someone from your distant past. If you really want to change the pattern in the deepest way, it may be necessary for you to bring up some memories of that and tap through those things. That's doing the deeper work. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes the quick and easy way does the job. So I just want to present both to you. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.